welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina, and today we're going to talk about my boxy charm this month. I am wearing all boxy charm. Everything I have on was from their box, um, except for the eye mask and the cuticle. I am wearing everything else, and I am not in love with this look. <laughs> It's not right. <laughs> I have used these products some. I haven't used them a ton because I'm just not feeling it, but I have used them. And on my channel, I try to make everything about the products and not the people behind the products. Like I, you send me something, I'm not gonna go look up who did what. I don't care. I'm absolutely 100% about whether or not something works or not. And things like that. Now there are a few exceptions to that, but I'm not gonna get into those. So <laughs> let's get into this box and talk about what's going on here, what my issues are, and what I have to say to Box of Charm that I really hope they see. The first item I'm gonna pull out is the AdSense Cuticle Oil. Um, I probably should use this. I'm not going to. I'm sorry. I just I don't pay enough attention to my nails. I put my hands in horrible places all the freaking time. I just, I, I'm just not gonna do it. I'm not gonna use it. And I also think that like, I believe this is $21. It's crazy amount of money for what's in here. This is sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil, guys. You can go buy sweet almond oil in a great big thing for like 15 bucks. This is ridiculous. Setting that to the side to pass on to somebody. Okay, the next item is the House of Lashes Lashes. I'm wearing them right now. They're very pretty. They went on pretty easily. These range between nine to $12. This one is in Femme Fatale. Totally perfect for me. I was kind of annoyed that I got this item. I was hoping for the mascara because I love that mascara that other people got, the Lifted by Tarte. It's great. But lashes are fine with me. I'm not like, I hate lashes type of person. And these ones are great. All right, next item I have it's the Smashbox lipstick. So this is in Power On. I'm wearing it right now. This retails for $21, and it really is $21. I buy off Smashbox all the freaking time. My problem is mine arrived broken. I put it back in there and did the best I can with it, but if I probably am gonna have to take it out and depot it or something. I was really annoyed about that because this is the item of this month's box I was super excited to receive. I own a zillion Smashbox lipsticks. I was going to show you some, but I try to keep them all together, like I try to keep them in a thing. <laughs> try. I don't usually succeed, but I'm guessing most of them are there right now. <laughs> so this is fine. I don't love the color, and again, it is the cheapest variation that came in the box. And that's my issue, BoxyCharm. It has nothing to do with what products you're sending. I don't remember how much these are. There's three of them. The other ones are in my refrigerator. These work just fine. I have no problem with them at all. I've gotten them in my Ipsy, bo my Ipsy bag before, and I like them. 13 bucks for three. Kinda expensive for an eye mask, but you know, uh, whatever. There's more expensive ones out there, so. Then we have the Bang Beauty eyeliner. It's in a brown. Um, if you don't like brown eyeliner, don't use it as eyeliner. Use it as a brow product or a eyeshadow. Um, I used it as a eyeshadow underneath my shadows today to help them stick down. It works fine for that. Um, it applies very creamily, very softly, so if you're not into the brown eyeliner, try using this has an eyeshadow, a cream eyeshadow, just pat it on with your finger, or flat brush, and it smooths in really nicely. You you won't be disappointed. I think that leaves me with just this. And that is the Laura Lee eyeshadow eyeshadow palette. Uh, this eyeshadow palette, you've heard everybody talk about it. It's not amazing. Uh, it's $19. This yellow does not show up for crap. You saw my Smashbox swatch the other day. It was beautiful and vibrant, even on my skin. This blue is, for me, one of the nicer colors. This other blue, also pretty nice, but yeah, it has some issues with patchiness. The orange is okay. Again, it has some issues, issues with patchiness. These glitters, oh my God, these glitters. So these glitters swatch really nicely. 
I was pretty excited about these glitters. <sighs> Except for this happens to me and I don't even like push into that. Like it chunks up on me and then powders off. And I don't even know if there's a name for it doing that, but yuck. And then my big problem with it is not how it swatches. It's not how it looks. It's not the colors. I'm fine with bright colors. Y'all know that. My big problem with this palette is how it performs with each other and how you put it on the lid. Now it took me a good 40 minutes to get this eye look that once it was on my eye and I was like, okay, and then I have to put on lashes and eyeliner, finish it all up, right? By the time I got done, what was a really pretty look, you know, a pretty decent bright ass look, started going muddy on me. Now I didn't do that, it did that. Sometimes eyeshadows will do that and it'll look beautiful. These do that and they look like shit. No question about it, they look like shit. You can barely see the colors on my lids in certain areas that yellow does not do good things at all. Light blue goes in the dark blue. Those two colors should blend together, right? They should, they are the same, like the blue and the orange aren't going to. Like, I know that, right? But the blue and the blue should, and they don't. They turn into a really awful black blue. And I put this, uh, this stuff, underneath it to hold them in place so they weren't trying to play together. It didn't work. This eyeshadow palette, probably rarely ever gonna reach for it. The shimmers, oh my God, those glitters. Holy shit, a nightmare. You pat them on your lid with your finger. I used NYX glitter glue and it still took me five freaking minutes to get the shine. No, oh, you can still see the pink on there. It's not nearly as vibrant as it was a second ago. Oh, come on, lash. This is my first time using these lashes, so you know, you get that inner corner mask going on. My issue with BoxyCharm right now is that I am pretty sure that those of us who get our boxes late in the month, for whatever reason, be it just because of our address, where our last name falls on the list, whatever, we always get the crappiest boxes. I got the cheapest variety option out of all of the options every month so far lately. Out of the lashes, I got $9 lashes, I didn't get $12 lashes. I didn't get the primer or the lifted mascara, which is what I would have preferred. I got the cheapest lipstick too. And I love the Smashbox Be Legendary liquid lipsticks. They are my all time favorite holy grail lipsticks. I will be replacing this look with that before I leave. Come on BoxyCharm, that's not fair. It's really not fair that you're punishing those of us who get our boxes late for whatever reason, because you're running out of stuff, because that's what's left over, whatever. That's not fair. Mix up the list, randomize the list so that we all have a chance to get the cool stuff. I know that everything in this box is absolutely worth the price I pay for it. I'm in no danger of canceling, but it is really frustrating. And I know that I'm not the only one feeling that way. So I hope somebody <laughs> says to Bonky Charm, stop it. Come on, in school they didn't even do this to people. Like, you know, you knew if you were in the 70s in school and your last name started with something below M, you were screwed, right? That should not be the same way nowadays, sorry. Just say it. They fixed that in school, they should fix it everywhere else. It's not right. And if it's anything else, I don't know what it is because um, if it's by address, just because where you are in the country, once again, switch it up a little. I mean, come on, the people in California can, in fact, get the less expensive items in a box occasionally. I'm sorry if you're in California and get a shitty box, but I was just using that as an example. So, it's letting you know. I don't know how they do it. I'm just letting you know because it's really frustrating, right? I would have loved to gotten the Power Metal Lipstick, and Be Legendary Lipstick. Oh my God, I would have freaked out. And that would have made me happy. That one item would have made me happy. Like I said, I'm okay with this box. I'll work with this box. I'll make it work for me, um, except for potentially this, which will be used for Halloween or some damn thing. Might give it to my kids to have a heyday with, I don't know. So that's my thoughts on this one's Boxy Charm and It On. And I have been using it and I can tell you that this lip eyeliner is really nice. Um, these lashes I hadn't used because I suck at redoing lashes. Um, so I waited till this video to use them. They went on just fine. The band's a little thick for me, but it's nothing crazy. And I think that all comes down to what type of lash you got, not this particular brand. Um, I've seen people use this brand and love it. Just let you know. Um, okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye!
gonna change this lipstick. 